In early 1959, decisions were being made about the future of Tulketh Hall. The Diocese of Lancaster had bought the hall before World War II, but it had soon been taken over by the army, and after the war became an army records office. In early December 1952, a fire gutted the first floor of one wing of the office. Preston Fire Brigade fought the blaze for 90 minutes to bring it under control and to prevent it from spreading to the rest of the building. This newspaper report calls Tulketh Hall one of Preston's oldest and most historic buildings, dating back internally to the late 17th or early 18th century. Externally, it was said that the castle turrets had been added in alterations made by owner Roger Hesketh in 1759. Settlement at Tulketh may well have started in the years after the Norman Conquest. A monastery community was founded here in 1124 on land given to monks by Stephen of Blois. They are suggested to have used existing buildings on the site which might have been part of the Motton Bailey Castle documented later. The first hall would have been built around this time. During the 19th century, traces of the old monastery could still be seen and are shown on Ordnance Survey maps. But by May 1959, the hall had stood empty for 18 months and demolition was in progress. After nearly 1,000 years of standing proudly on a hill overlooking the Ribble, in a few weeks' time the building would be no more. Today, it's hard to imagine what Tulketh Hall really looked like and where it was on the site. But these photos can help. In the months before demolition, the derelict building was photographed by George Bernard Mason for the National Building Record, a body set up in 1941 to record architectural heritage under threat of destruction. The property at Tulketh would be demolished just two months later in May 1959. These photographs are now part of the Historic England Archive. They can be seen individually on the Preston Digital Archive, used with permission from Historic England. Similar permissions have also been gratefully received to use them in this film. The position of the hall can be located using this overlay of a 1913 Ordnance Survey map from the National Library of Scotland website. Tulketh Hall was situated on the highest part of the site, on the eastern side, facing what is now Francis Street. Its footprint is almost completely on the present sports area and on the open space on that side of the site. The Star Youth Centre appears nose to nose with the two wings and windows of the house which looked out over the old river course. The Youth Centre building appears to be built over the hall's front garden and across the entrance driveway that was there. In 1898 the hall became a boys' home run by the Brothers of Charity. The Hesketh Street buildings were added to the grounds in 1900 to provide workshops, living rooms, recreation rooms, dormitories, staff quarters and a chapel. Maps of the time show that the two buildings were joined. The repaired walls after demolition still show the marks of where this was. There are location descriptions attached to these photographs, which means that their position can be matched to the present day site. A frequent visitor during demolition was Colonel Roger Fleetwood Hesketh, MP for Southport, who salvaged doors, ornate panelling, two old gate piers and tons of bricks from his former ancestral home. The report says that he hoped to use them in renovations at his home at Meols Hall Church down near Southport, which in fact were carried out between 1960 and 64 to his own design so it's likely that parts of Tulketh Hall are anonymously on display there today. 
The National Heritage List for England has an entry for Meols Hall which states that works were carried out by Roger Fleetwood Hesketh himself as an amateur architect. It describes the house as two and three storey red brick with stone and cast stone dressings including materials salvaged from Tulketh and Latham Hall. The proposed sale by auction of the site is currently paused. As well as helping to save it as a community resource and open space, the Friends of Tulketh Hall proposed to reveal the archaeology of the whole site. The foundations of the hall are surely just there waiting to be uncovered. There is a precedent for such a project in Preston. Grange Park was developed from the grounds of Ribbledon Hall, built in 1865 by Thomas Birchall, a local solicitor and one-time mayor of Preston. Like Tulketh Hall, Ribbledon went through a number of uses. It was a private school in the 1920s and during the Second World War it was commandeered by the military. Ribbleton Hall was demolished in 1949 and by 1955 the new park was being laid out. In the late 1990s the local council received lottery funding to redevelop the park and an archaeological excavation of the hall was carried out. This revealed its foundations and the layout of the hall, its conservatory, kitchen and gardens was recreated. The main remaining feature of Ribbleton Hall is the old entrance doorway, which is the only substantial part of the building still standing. Of course, the site at Tulketh has no standing buildings, but at Ribbleton, the footprint of the foundations has been conserved, showing the overall size and shape of the hall. Some of the original floor tiles and carved masonry discovered during excavation are still in place. The site may now be a little neglected, but that it is there at all should give some hope for Tulketh. There has been little change to the Tulketh site since the early 20th century. The gardens of Tulketh Hall used to extend far beyond the present area. But if this small space can be retained as a community focus and resource, then surely it is also right to take the opportunity to explore the archaeology of the whole site as well, rather than let it be lost to commercial development. But of course, only time will tell.